Well, technology is not just changing the way we read books and make phone calls. It's also, of course, changing the way we drive. Many cars now on the road have automatic braking, braking, which can stop a car in emergency situations. Soon, a lot more vehicles will have the feature. Brooke Silva Braga explains. All right, hang on. Okay, we're hanging on. John Hall's Tesla can accelerate quickly, but it's the car's ability to stop on its own that saved him from a major accident last October. And this guy decided to turn. Hall's dash cam video shows how the Tesla's auto emergency braking kicked in. Before I could even react, because I was watching traffic to my right, the car stopped for me. The braking system uses cameras and sensors to identify dangers and stop the car if the driver doesn't. Several car companies have the feature on some vehicles, but that will soon be expanded. Good morning. Federal officials joined with 20 different auto brands Thursday. The companies reached a voluntary agreement to make auto emergency braking, or AEB, a standard feature. On virtually all new cars by 2022 and on heavier trucks and SUVs by 2025. An estimated 32,000 people die on U.S. roads each year. Government leaders say AEB will help reduce that number. Injuries and rear uh, crashes are reduced by 40 percent um, for cars that have AEB compared to those cars that don't. And AEB is just the first step. Automakers continue to improve other safety features like blind spot warnings and cars that can steer themselves out of trouble. Technology that will eventually lead to self-driving cars, which are expected to dramatically reduce the number of accidents. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York. Hey, if you're going to avoid a crash. We know about the problems of distracted driving right? and we're all guilty. So anything to help out uh, behind the wheel is probably a good thing. I totally agree.